Here we have a common or edible sea urchin, Echinus esculentus, one of the most common species of sea urchin that lives in the shallows around Iceland, after the green sea urchin. The common sea urchin is quite a bit bigger than its cousin. It mainly feeds on algae and various invertebrae, shellfish, worms, barnacles, sea squirts and polyzoa among other delicacies. The sea urchin moves at a snail's pace but gets there in the end. Here we can see how he uses his tentacles to crawl up the rocks. The common sea urchin lives in relative peace with his surroundings. But his cousin, the green sea urchin, is another kettle of fish entirely. In fact, it's sometimes called the locust of the sea. He mainly hangs around the seaweed just below the shore area, but is also known to plumb the depths. Most of his time he spends peacefully in the seaweed forest, like his more sedate cousin, wending his way unassumingly and munching on dead seaweed or carcasses. But just like locusts, he occasionally goes berserk and climbs up the seaweed stems and strips the seaweed bare. The huge increase in numbers of green sea urchin may stem from the depletion of predators that eat them in various stages of their development. In Eyjafjörður, the green sea urchin has pursued a scorched earth policy, destroying the seaweed beds. After this binge, it seems to be able to survive for long periods with very little to eat and inhibits the regrowth. The seaweed jungle doesn't grow back until the urchins have disappeared. Here we see another member of the Echina domata family, the sea cucumber, on a rock. These remarkable creatures like to find themselves a comfy area where the nutrient-rich sea flows by. They also like having their picture taken. The sea cucumber uses its appendages that look like branches to gather tender morsels and scoop them into its mouth. When it senses danger at hand, it calls in the troops and hides all its bits inside its body. All you can see then is a formless blob. Starfish are also echiderms and cousins of urchins and sea cucumbers. Here we see a five-armed starfish having a clam bake. Though most partial to a shellfish diet, they will also eat dead fish and there's enough of those for everyone. We find them also around the hot springs in Eyjafjörður of the Fjord where the water can reach 80 degrees Celsius. They seem equally at home in a cold bath or a hot shower. And here we see a brittle star, a close relative of starfish. They have a round disc in the middle, out of which extend long thin appendages, which they use to crawl on. Under the disc is a star-shaped mouth from which their name is derived. Brittle stars live on the sediment and small plankton. 